Are you ready for the battle of the polyesters? And no, I'm not talking about that suit in the back of the closet. Stick around, let's take a look at these filaments. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Scott, Edge of 3D, and today we're going to take a look at Soriatech and Polymaker's PET carbon fiber filament. So, polyester filament, and we'll throw their uh, Polymaker's PETG carbon fiber in there as well, just because right now I don't have a place for it. But we're going to take a look at these two. But first, I got a new filament arrived. I think two days ago I did some test prints and some test breaks with it just to see how it would perform and you got to see this. So um, this is just a layer break <coughs> and no the audio is not keeping up with the video but um, that's printed on layer lines. What I want you to watch right here is how much force it takes to break these on the layer line. That's 175 kilograms of force. Four walls, 40% infill. Right here they are. It's printed standing up just like this. Four walls, 45% infill, if the light will pick it up. 175 kilograms. Now, the one that broke in the video, that one was 200 and... 201.7 kilograms in, in the first break. The second break, obviously seeing that one was 175. The very first one I did was 202, so don't don't rag on the print quality. I'm still dialing in the machine. It's a material that none of these machines in here have ever printed with, so there's some, uh, there's some learning to go into uh, printing a new filament. But back to today's video. Soriatech sent me a whole bunch of different filaments to test, one of them being their PET carbon fiber. And of course, I have lots of uh, Polymakers fiber on around PET CF17. So um, we're going to jump into it and take a look at how these two filaments stacked up against each other. Let me get to the right screen here, and here we go. So. Um, I've added a material class to this website now that when you can click on this and go through here and play around with it. Link will be in the video description down below. But uh, we're just going to look at the polyesters for right now, which is the PET carbon fibers. And uh, right off the bat on the x-axis yield, uh, Soriatech just knocked Polymaker completely out of the game. Uh, there, there's just no comparison. X-axis yield. Soriatech hands down. Let me uh, turn on this mouse cursor here. This top line is uh, unannealed. The next line is annealed. And same way with Soriatech. Top line is unannealed. Uh, bottom line is annealed. Now I don't know why Polymaker got stronger when it was annealed. Soriatech went the other direction. It, it lost a little bit of strength. Their x-axis yield points uh, they went a lot further before they yielded, before they were kneeled, after they were kneeled, they were within a tenth of a millimeter of each other. Where they broke at, same thing, Polymaker went a lot further before it was annealed, but after they were kneeled, both materials broke at roughly the same spot. Layer adhesion, um, Soriatech beat Polymaker, um, beat him by just a tiny bit on the unannealed, and by a whole lot on the annealed, and I will tell you, I went back and tested a total of 15 samples on this annealed Polymaker layer adhesion, trying to figure out what was going on, and it just, it loses strength on the layer when it's annealed. I don't have an explanation for it. Direct threads, this is a 3 millimeter screw, screwed 4 millimeters into a printed hole and then pulled out. Um, Again, Soriatech just uh, double what, what uh, almost double what Polymaker could do. Heat set yields, these were all within, uh, you know, close enough to be within the margin of error. Um, once again, 
Polymaker lost strength when it was annealed, where Soriatek gained strength. And then the shock break, I wouldn't expect anything, any outstanding numbers on this, simply because uh, it's it's a brittle material. It doesn't stand shocks very well. So we'll jump over here to comparison view, and we'll look at all of them, and we'll throw the uh, Polymaker PETG in here just for comparison. So, as you can see, the PET printed at 280, PETG at 255. Um, the PETG did as good as the PET. It shouldn't, because it's got glycol added to it. Yield point, same as the unannealed PET. Break point, um, it, was, it didn't yield near as much before it broke as the uh, PET did. Layer adhesion, it hit right between annealed and unannealed for the polymaker, um, significantly lower than the Soriatek. Direct thread, it did a little bit better than the polymaker, not near as good as the Soriatek. Now here's a surprising one. I don't have an explanation for this. This right here, typically when the heat sets come out of these pieces, the layer lines split because of the way they're printed, which if that was the case, this should have a lot higher x-axis, I mean a layer break. should have a lot higher layer break and it doesn't. But on the heat set yield, I, I don't have an explanation for it. The numbers don't lie. There they are. Again, I tested a total of 15 samples. They all tested very high. Izod shock, I would have thought that the PET with glycol added to it would make it uh, less brittle is, is, is the best word I can put because it's this, this tests the brittleness of the material. I thought it would make it less brittle. Uh, I was wrong. It hit right between actually it was it was uh, it was a little better than the polymaker PET and it was not as good as the unannealed Soriatek, and it was a little better than the annealed Soriatek. So, um, there, there you go. I mean, Soriatek wins, and you know, we'll, we'll look at pricing here, and that'll 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 explain more. So. You know, fiber on their PET carbon fiber, it's a half a kilogram roll, $26.99. That's $54 a kilogram. Soriatek, that comes in a full kilogram roll, right now on sale for $40, normally $50. No matter how you slice it, the Soriatek is better filament, numbers don't lie, and less expensive. So, if I'm going to spend my money on a filament, it's going to be the Soriatek PET carbon fiber. So, as always, I'm working on more tests, I'm designing more tests to include into these. They're all a work in progress, machining some stuff, printing some stuff, testing out some of my tests, finding out they don't work the way I want them, but getting there a little bit each day. And as you know, you stick around, watch this all the way to this point. If you like what I'm doing, hit a thumbs up. If you want to see when I drop the next one, there's a bell icon somewhere. Hit that subscribe button. It helps with my YouTube algorithm. And, um, yeah, you can always help out. Um, I, I don't hide any of my stuff behind a Patreon paywall. Um, the links are in the video description down below to get to that website. Everybody can access it. You can see all the data. If you want to help out financially, coffee link down below buy me a coffee it all helps these uh, these machines over here that I build they're not cheap to build a lot of machine work and stuff that goes into them electronics that go into them so it all helps and as always again I can't say it enough I appreciate each and every one of you peace out we'll see you on the next one